Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris. And today is a very, very special video for me because I get to introduce you guys to my very first lipstick created in collaboration with La Bouche Rouge. I will tell you everything about it, but for those of you who don't know, La Bouche Rouge is a French clean brand. I've been talking about it in the past couple of years and I've been loving their products because they really combine this sustainable clean beauty with functionability. They really don't compromise when it comes to luxury, when it comes to pigment, when it comes to longevity. It's a really, really special brand. Recently, they have expanded their uh, makeup range and they have done their first collaboration with an artist with Rosie Huntington Whitley this year in January. And now I'm doing this collaboration with them and I couldn't have been more excited. Now, you're probably wondering the color of the lipstick. It's a red lipstick obviously I am wearing it <laughs> the truth is I've always loved red lipstick I've always wanted to create a beautiful true red lipstick and it's been it's been a process I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I knew that it's very very hard to create makeup and I'm not saying that I've created makeup obviously we have created a color together a color that I've imagined but I didn't realize that it's this long process of like finding that color. I didn't even think that I was this picky. It was a, a process of back and forth sending first pictures and then um, fabrics and then sending, you know, my own mixture of lipsticks to show them like this is what I want and then them sending samples, uh, me sending samples back. like. It was just a whole process, like I said, but it was very interesting and very rewarding at the end when they finally created my red. I wanted to create the red that is universally beautifying, something that would work on every single skin tone and the type of red that, you know, you wouldn't be afraid to try because I know a lot of people are afraid of like too warm reds or like too pink reds because those look like more like madame, more like old style reds. So I wanted to create really beautiful uh, universal reds. Like you have to admit red lipstick changes your mood, changes your attitude and you must own it. It's not the type of color that you wear and you expect to be invisible. Absolutely not. This red in particular will make you be very noticeable because it's just so strong and so powerful. Red lipstick in general does that. So that's one of the reasons why, you know, if I only had the chance to do one color, I wanted to do red lipstick. I want to talk a little bit about the formula, the packaging, and then we're going to talk about the finish. Just like any other La Bouche Rouge product, this is a clean formula. It has a lot of natural, amazing ingredients that really nourish your lips. You feel this like the moment you apply this lipstick on, and it comes in a sustainable, packaging. So I want to show you exactly how this lipstick comes just so you have the whole picture. So all the lipsticks from La Bouche Rouge come in this hard paper packaging. Looks like this. And they have always thought about creating the least amount of waste possible. That's why the lipstick it's actually a refill very important for you to know this so if you ever decide to get the lipstick this is what the lipstick will look like and then when you open it it's literally just the refill in addition to the lipstick you could opt to buy a leather case the leather case comes on different and different colors you have this you have blue you have black you have really beautiful colors available I really love the combination of light pink and red so I picked a, a light pink for myself you could also put your initials on this this is a 
leather and metal case. The leather is actually upcycled leather and this whole case is handmade by artisans in France. The lipstick is made in France, the whole lipstick is made in France. So I, I wanted you to know that the case does not come with the lipstick. If you want to get it, you will have to buy it separately. But what's great about it is that you could use it for other lipsticks. If you decide to get other lipsticks from La Bouche Rouge, you could put the lipstick in here. It's literally super simple to do it. Like you have the refill and then here's the case. It becomes immediately functional, right? It has this magnetic system. I've always loved their packaging, loved their packaging. It is a very luxurious product. This is something that you would gift to someone. I don't know any woman who wouldn't be like super impressed with the way this lipstick looks and the way it feels. I truly, truly love uh, this lipstick, uh, not just because it's, you know, my own color, but I also love it as a whole. I want to talk a little bit about the finish and how um, it stands and how it looks on the lips. This is the La Bouche Rouge Mattist uh, formula. And to be completely honest with you, I absolutely love that it has this very hydrating feeling and that it's a classic beautiful red that will not suck the life out of your lips, you know? It brings life to your lips, that's for sure. It is also the type of a lipstick that even if you do not use a lip liner, this formula will not migrate. Although it has a lot of hydrating ingredients in it, it will not migrate and like look weird around your lips. That was something very, very important to me. Now, where can you find the Andrea Red lipstick? It's available only on La Bouche Rouge website and it has international shipping. So I'm going to put the link in my description box where you can purchase it if you want it. Unfortunately, this is not sold anywhere else uh, other than La Bouche Rouge website. Now, I'm going to show you how I've created the look that I'm wearing from scratch. I'm going to teach you everything. All the products that I was using uh, are products that you've seen on my channel before, most of them. So if you'd like to see this lipstick in action, then please keep on watching. This is so, so very exciting. So the whole makeup look obviously is going to be around the red lipstick, my red lipstick. Uh, starting with the Shine Control Primer from Makeup Forever. Don't use it everywhere on the face, even if your skin is very oily. Try to use it only in the parts of your skin where it produces the most sebum. Then I'll be using this foundation, a Good Apple from KVD Beauty. This is in medium 033 and I'll apply it with this brush from La Bouche Rouge. So I'm going to try to spread it all over. I love how it looks on the skin, just love it. Jouer in the color Macadamia. This is a bit baby blender brush. I'm not used with brushes that are this short. Now I'm gonna be using a blush and bronzer in one. This is actually a cream bronzer, but the color is just so beautiful. Um, more like a universal blush slash bronzer. It's called Stellar. It's from Nude. Actually, it's called Nude Envy. I used to call it Nude Envy all the time. And you actually have 20% off uh, on for this brand. It's an American, Californian brand, actually. If you apply this, I honestly believe that you don't really have to apply any blush. Like, there's enough color. With this, do you see this like dewiness? It's really, really beautiful without being greasy. And then with the, what's left on the brush, I apply it on the brow bone. Not on the actual eyelid, but on the brow bone. Do you guys see this huge pimple I have right here? Like, how can you not? How can you not? Really? Now you're getting me closer? 
and you can tell how immediately the skin has a little bit of color has warmth and i i honestly wouldn't add any more color like this is more than enough i'm definitely going to use a little bit of laura mercier you know my love for this product a hakuhodo kokutan brush tap you don't want to do swiping motions because then you're going to disturb the foundation underneath then i'm going to add just a little bit of glow this is from la bouche rouge and it's a very very special highlighter this is a smith 232 brush and get it just a tiny little bit on the highest points of the cheeks you have to understand i barely touch the skin i love a very delicate makeup eye makeup when i'm wearing red lipstick i think this palette from nars this is called euphoria it's a beautiful beautiful uh, palette i think this would work perfectly because there are not a lot of very dark colors let's take the first one j6523 brush from hakuhodo and i'm taking this color right here first and then with the same brush I will be taking this color right here in the corner and get this in a crease then I'm going to be mixing this matte color right here with the one that we just used with this Misa 017 brush and get it at the base of the lashes just a little shadow right there And then extend this and then I'll do the same thing on the lower lash line then with the refer 02 brush I'll be taking this color right here now this can be very very strong so I'm gonna tap it on the back of my hand just to make sure it's not too crazy and starting with the middle of my eyelid actually this is a little bit too cool for my taste so i'm going to take this color right here i'm taking back the first brush and just making sure that this color at the base of my lashes it's not too much like a liner like a pencil I'm going to curl the lashes this is a Shiseido eyelash curler first I'm going to use this mascara primer from Lancome and now the mascara now let's do the eyebrows and first I brush them through with the spoolie and then I fill them in with a Balm Brows pencil from Huda Beauty so after I fill them in I make sure I brush them through so so well then the eyebrow gel a must for me 24 hour brow setter and now the star of the show this is my red lipstick now what you should know about this lipstick is that it's a buildable color so if you want to apply just you know a little bit to give your lips a little bit of color you could like so But if you want to go in, you could really go in with this. It's up to you how much you want to apply. But it really doesn't matter how many layers you're going to put on. It's going to be super comfortable. Like one thing that I absolutely love about it is how thin this formula is. It's almost as if it 
leaves more pigment as it warms up. And you guys, this is the final look. It's a very polished look, I would say. You could wear it during the day, but I personally would wear this on an event during the day. This could be a wedding, just a special cocktail maybe. The lipstick on its own with just mascara, nothing else. Maybe a little bit of tinted moisturizer. It would be more than enough because it really stands out. As you can see, it's, it's hydrating, it has this beautiful sheen, but it's not the type of lipstick that will get on your teeth or that's heavy, that you know, you tend to sit like this with your lips if a lipstick is uncomfortable. I hope you enjoyed this look and I really hope you love this color just as much as I do. Okay, before I'm ending this, I just want to say something very important that you watching my videos and you being here along the way from, I don't know, whenever you started to follow me, this is support enough for me. Uh, obviously, if you would get the lipstick, it would mean the world to me. But even if you don't get the lipstick, I still appreciate you following my work and appreciating my work no matter what. So I just want to put this out there. I just don't want anyone to feel like it's not part of my tribe. We're all here together. Thank you so much for everything that you have uh, ever done for me or every minute that you've been watching my videos, every comment and like and dislike. Everything helped me be where I am today, have this collaboration that is a dream come true. So you have already done so much for me. Thank you so, so much. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.